MTDCNCR in Rutland at High Spec Precision Engineering, and I'm joined by Darren, you're know, the owner of the company. Now, we're going to be discussing the robo job in a lot more detail, but you've got a long lasting relationship with Hydrofeed. Can you just tell us about the journey? You've got the Hydrofeed bar feeders, and now you've recently invested in even more automation. Yeah, the bar feeders were, to be honest, just second nature when we bought the CMZ lathes. Um, we wanted servo bar feeders that were quality, and these are what we ended up with, and they're doing a good job. The robo job is purely here because of staffing issues, and it's already paying dividends with our production, and uh, that's why we've ordered a second one. So, how long have you had this first robo job? April, it was installed. April. So, in that time, what kind of productivity gains and efficiency gains have you seen? We haven't really done any studies, but the machine has run more than it did previously. Can't really quantify, but because I look after these machines myself, it's freed me up to do other setting, uh, keeping the other machines running as much as possible as well. Do you find that you're using the robo job for unmanned running overnight? We haven't yet, but that is there for the future, should we need to. And what about the flexibility of the robo job? At the minute you're running quite small billets, but what kind of flexibility have you got if you wanted to run larger billets also? We can run up to 270 diameter, uh, somewhere in the region of 10 kilo billets. So if they're rings, we can, we can go bigger. We can feed from the pallet to the table, so we can do bigger uh, work there. We can do shafts um, with the two-point gripper. Now you've, you, you mentioned the two-point gripper now. You've also got a measurement system in the right-hand corner. Um, what, what does that do effectively? That gives the robot and the machine the exact position at the end of the billet. So, so you don't have to use an end stop? No, no. There is a, an end stop on the feed pallet, but that's only for rough positioning. The accuracy is done with the measuring system. And in regards to kind of you know, getting to grips with this. This is your first robo job. How easy is it to use and program? I have 15 minutes training, 20 minutes tops, uh, not through Hydrofeed's um, lack of support, but because at the time I didn't have the time to give them. So within 15 minutes, we had figured out the running of simple jobs such as that one, and the rest is so intuitive it's just worked itself out. Well, that is quite impressive, really. Now, everything seems very straightforward. You are now investing in your second robo job. Yeah. So, you know, what is the main reason behind this? Is it just down to the lack of skill uh, levels out, out there? Uh, the lack of skill level is a big thing. Um, we're also finding, particularly with the, the second installation, which is going on a milling machine, um, operator fatigue, RSI, we're trying to avoid that, so the repetitive jobs will be done by the robot. Uh, if we're loading 500 billets at a two or three minute ops, it soon starts to give people problems with their hands and arms. And how important is automation in your opinion? Becoming more and more so. Um, we're only a small team. We're relying on technology to be competitive, and this is paying dividends. Investing in all the latest investments, such as the robo job, is enabling you to invest in more, even more technology. You've just moved into a new facility. Do you believe, without these investments, you'd still be able to be as competitive as you as you currently are? We wouldn't be able to keep up to the uh, position we're in. We do put out a lot of work for the size of the company we are. Um, I'm assuming we're competitive because people keep ordering. It would be a struggle to maintain the output without the level of automation. Um, and then moving forward, we've got the capacity to night run, uh, increasing the output even further with the same footprint of building and same staff levels.